Well, today, Buffalo Bishop Richard Malone spoke on WBEN radio, making his first public comments since Sunday's 60 Minutes story. Now, the bishop has repeatedly refused requests for interviews made by Two on Your Side, and today he got to WBEN through an underground loading dock. Now, the bishop is going to hold a press conference on Monday afternoon. Here's Two on Your Side's Kelly Dudzik tonight with what the bishop revealed this afternoon on the radio, less than 72 hours from when he will finally take our questions. Amid calls for his resignation. This bishop and auxiliary bishop Gross should resign. I don't see any path forward with him remaining as bishop. Buffalo Bishop Richard Malone once again said Friday that he will not resign. When asked whether he thinks he should resign, he said. I do not believe so because my record until these recent things that involved primarily uh, misconduct with adults by priests. My record with handling misconduct allegations with children is good. Bishop Malone also said he would not ask the Pope for early retirement and says he feels he has an obligation to try to lead the diocese beyond this. I am angry. Let me make that perfectly clear. Uh, when I hear Catholic lay folks talk about how angry and dismayed and disappointed they are, I, I share in that, believe me. I know some of that's directed against me, but we need to remember this crisis is global, and in the Buffalo Diocese, the problems go back decades before I was ever here. This week, a group of concerned members of the diocese announced they formed their own panel aimed at rebuilding trust and confidence in the church. The bishop had this to say when asked why it took him so long to address everything. Probably this is the best way, but uh, I have sent a number of letters to the parishes to be read to the people to explain, first of all, to apologize, apologize to victims, first of all. During the interview, the bishop also revealed. There have been times through this whole horrible scenario where I have been embarrassed to be a bishop because clearly the leadership of the church has not responded. I don't want to say 100%. But the leadership of the church has often not responded adequately to, to this crisis. And when speaking about whistleblower Siobhan O'Connor, Malone explained his decision to release several emails she wrote praising him. I wasn't in the least bit trying to be vindictive. And I, if I thought it would have come across that way, I may not have done it. The bishop has called a press conference for Monday, and he's placed media restrictions on us. The diocese says each television station will only be allowed to send one photographer and one reporter. Usually for something like this, we would send multiple crews. Kelly Dudzik, Channel 2 News. Thank you, Kelly. Now, shortly after that radio interview, Father Art Smith called into WBEN to defend himself. Now, Father Smith was removed from a parish in Hamburg in 2011 for sending an inappropriate Facebook message to a child and was placed on leave from Blessed Mother Teresa of Calcutta Parish in Depew earlier this year for a sexual abuse complaint. The mention of my doing inappropriate things at the Brothers of Mercy is an absolute falsification. I am going to prove it. It will be come up, coming out as clear as can be. It never happened. Those were lies that were spoken about me. Well, Father Smith hung up once WBEN began asking him questions about past allegations.